A group of our friends, um, we, were, we all met in the theater department at UNT. We all would sit out on the front porch of one of their houses every Sunday and like have coffee and like hang out and talk about stupid stuff like art. And then we just had this idea. We had looked at a lot of locations. Uh, and we're, yeah, we're just like scoping around. I think Tommy one day saw a for rent sign here and like walked up and peeked through the window and there was like this woman sitting in her living room watching TV on the couch and she was like, Sometimes, um, sometimes I'll go into like a really nice corporate coffee house and uh, I'll be like, man, this place looks slick, you know? It's real uh, <laughs> um, commercialized, you know? And, and a lot of that stuff is, is really cool and really nice and real expensive, and <laughs> but you know, they, they make it happen. I, I think this place is um, it's just really easy going, you know? Kind of. I mean, first of all, like we're here in the front room, and like I see nothing that's like demanding that I buy something, you know, like little things on the tables or like signs of like the big cup of coffee all photographed pretty, you know, and like all that stuff that makes you like remember that you're at McDonald's, you know. Um, so that's kind of nice. You can just kind of come here and hang out um, in someone's house. Yeah. <laughs> It's in a house, and I love that, and the walls are beautiful. I love the artwork. It's something nice to look at. I love that it supports local artists. Um, I don't know. Everybody that works here is really awesome. I love this coffee shop. I think it's great. I think it's, you know, I, I love that Denton has this place that we can come here and we can just hang out. It's kind of homey, like, to be able to come and have one place where the people that work here know who you are and they are glad to see you. So I like it. It's really nice. I, I enjoy the atmosphere in this place. It's a very friendly atmosphere. Um, of course, you've got tons of college students just around the corner. Every now and then you have live music that you can enjoy. And um, the prices are reasonable for me in particular. And uh, I just like to taste their coffee more than I do Starbucks. I mean, I just, I don't know, everybody's different, but that's, that's the way it is for me. It's a very pleasant place. Coffee is fantastic. Matter of fact, I wouldn't go to any other coffee place if I had it my way. But with my business, sometimes I have to venture out because people want to meet at other places. And I, I cringe and I call them names, but I live with it. You know? <laughs> I really don't, but anyway. The Lotus um, in some forms of Buddhism, uh, there's a sutra in, um, or a chant in some Buddhism, Namiyoho Renge Kyo, which means the deeper and darker the mud, the more beautiful the lotus grows, which means the more crap you have to put up with in your life, the more beautiful a being you become from it. The reason that I chose to put my artwork up in here is simply because I prefer my artwork to be seen more than just in my house. And it's just part of being an artist is, is sharing. I think part of artwork is that art exists um, for the sake of itself, but also it needs an audience. And even if I don't sell things, I still want to show them and get opinions and see how people are affected and see what their interpretation is of my pieces. The comparison between like a large corporation coffee place um, and some place that's independently owned like Art6. Um, Art6 would have a warmer vibe to it. There's more local people, more loyal people that are going to come to Art6 than some place like Starbucks. Starbucks is so overgrown that they're not really going to care that much about, you know, getting your work out and stuff like that. We change our art um, every month for four years. You kind of, you know, the shop looks totally different every single time. It's really neat. If I come here and study, when I'm in school, I'll come here and study. Whenever my mind starts to wander, I get up and kind of look at the art and everything. My mind kind of settles down. I get back in the books, get studied, and do well. We do movie nights usually every Friday. I like to do semi-obscure kind of cult films, mostly foreign films. 
just things that people wouldn't normally go see or have the chance to see. And UNT class classes have had screenings up here, like film styles classes, and we rent them out to people wanting to do film screenings of feature films they've done in the area, things like that. The visual art is kind of the forte of the place, but we also have bands, usually on the weekends. We've done a, a ton of music every weekend, you know, and it's a lot of like, really amazing musicians and like also, you know, like Joe Blow's first show with his guitar and he's all nervous. And that's really cool, you know, to get to support somebody to do that. I played some weird places, but no, coming into this, it was kind of weirdy about it at first. I was like, oh no, not another weird coffee house. But I like this place a lot. It's pretty laid back. Like. Well, I noticed the cool art on the walls. That's art. Say. Art. It's art six. And I like the fact that it's a house and there's lots of different rooms. You don't have to all be in the same room. The crowd was completely accepting too, which was awesome. Yeah, that's rare to get a coffee house too, that really? people aren't sitting there just talking the whole time, which is kind of a pet That's why I like so. places that have lots of rooms. We have a lot of respect for the people who, who would paint, or a lot of respect for, you know, even this, I don't know, any type of art. Well, we are, we are local artists too, you know? I just think it's important because I, you know, it's, it's what you can really enjoy out of your, your own community. Raspin and the Rumble. The Raspin the Rumble. They're the Rumble. The Rasp. The Rasp. The Rasp. The Rumble, I guess. Rasp. We're the Rumble. We're the Rumble? Yeah. I'm the Rasp. We're the How right. come you get to be the single one? Because it's rumbling is big. Oh, that's so unfair. <laughs> I quit.